Well, hey kids, and welcome to my house. Today, we're going to be talking about science. Science is very fun. I'm wondering, have you ever heard of the non-Newtonian fluid, Ublek? If you were in Ms. Sashi's class, I know you have. Today, we're going to be doing three things. First, I will show you how to make Ublek. Second, I will be demonstrating some of its properties to you. And third, I will explain and show what is happening on a chemical level. And to do this, we're going to my dining room. Come along. Now, before we begin, Never forget, safe science is fun science. Ublek, what is it? Well, it gets its name from a 1949 Dr. Seuss book by the name of Bartholomew and the Ublek, in which it follows the adventures of a young boy, Bartholomew. He needs to save his kingdom from a sticky substance called Ublek. But for our purposes, what is Ublek? Well, it is a mixture of water and cornstarch. Now we all know what water is. It's two hydrogen atoms and an oxygen atom. But what is cornstarch? Cornstarch is a fine powder, mainly used in cooking. But on a molecular level, what is it? It's a bunch of cells, much like this one. And within the cell are starches. Now starches are long stringy things and when this cell is mixed with water, the water breaks down the cell walls and the starches <laughs> pop out <laughs> without the noise. Now this will make seven and a half cups of cornstarch in this bowl here. And to my right, I have five cups of water. This means that for every one part of water, there are one and a half parts cornstarch. And this makes oublet. Let's get mixing. That was some hard mixing. Now, what makes Ublek so special? Well, it has the properties of both a solid and a liquid. What exactly does that mean? I'll show you. But first, to be perfectly honest with you, around the end of my mixing, I noticed it was a little on the dry side, so I added an extra half cup of water. And I'm very pleased with the results. Solid as anything, right? Not so fast. If I am more gentle with my approach. See? Just like a liquid. Now, you're probably all saying, Jeremiah, what the heck is going on here? Well, I'll show you. 
This model demonstrates the water molecules suspended within the starches. Now, in reality, the starches would be more mashed together, like a net. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I have them as straight strings. Now, watch as I attack it viciously. The molecules have no time to get out of the way. And it all moves as one mass, one piece. Now, if I approach it more gently, they have time to let my hand through. Isn't science amazing? <laughs> well, that's all I have for today. Now, if you'd please excuse me, I would like to play with my oobleck. You know the way out. Please, I'm, no, I'm trying to, get, leave, get out. I'm asking you, okay, you need, you need this? Go, get out of here. I'm done. We, I showed you what's going on. Get, go, just leave. I'm so tired, you know?